Today, I'm starting my road to glory on Gran Turismo 7. I've played this game as well as GT Sport for quite a while now, but I've never been more than a B-tier driver, like Lance Stroll. Now that I've got my new setup, I feel I can be much better than just B-tier. So today, I'm starting this series in which I fight my way up to A-tier, and you can follow along on this journey. Unfortunately, before recording this, I even got dropped back to C-tier, but I won't let that stop me. So today, we're making the first step to A-tier by trying to get back up into B-tier first. Today's races were all very enjoyable and especially the last race was absolutely crazy. So be sure to stick around for that one. But without further ado, let's jump right into the first race. B again, should be doable. So coming uh, into the first we'll race, nothing exciting really happened at the start. We go. Got off the line fairly well and managed to keep second place. Until we arrived at lap number 5, where I made a little bit of a mistake out of the final corner. Okay, a little bit of a heart attack there, I almost lost it into the corner. Which meant that the Italian driver behind could get a good run and overtake me into the first corner. Ah, couldn't stick the switch back. Managed to stay close to the Italian until lap 10, where I made a colossal mistake by dipping my left wheels into the grass and crashing into the wall. Oh no! Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. And I also received a 3 second penalty. Fortunately it was time to pit and after fitting some fresh rubber and serving the penalty, I got dropped down to 6th place. But I started fighting for 5th almost immediately with this Martini livery Mercedes here. So as we got onto the straight, got into a slipstream, diving down the inside into the first corner and not completely sticking the move because he's still alongside me at this point but not for long because once we got to the uphill corners leave me the space please thank you he crashed himself out did i leave him enough room there i think i did right so we are back up to fifth once lap 13 came around, I was still in 5th place, but I dipped my wheels into the gravel once again. Oh, fuck's sakes, man. Which meant my fellow Dutchman could make an overtake. And this started quite a fun little battle for the next couple of laps. Let's take a look. better exit out of that corner. Just gonna lift a bit early here, see if I can dive down the inside. Yes, okay, we managed to pull it off. He's still alongside me and he got a little bit of a better exit. He's gonna have to fight for it until the next corner and just break a little bit later. nicely to the inside and I think that completes the move wrong Let's see if we can go for a switch back here ah he tucks it nicely around the inside having some issues here and the battle so, ended here at lap 16 because game. look That's what happens here out of the final corner I alongside? I think I was. Oh, and he crashed. The Dutchman smashing his car into the wall, just like you should smash like and subscribe. Anyway, I was quite a long ways behind the top four until we found the Italian from the beginning again, who was doing some early celebratory donuts. Oh, and that's the Italian we fought with at the beginning. And the Turkish driver in front of him at the server penalty. Which puts us up into P3. And just like that, we managed to get back up into P3 and still got quite a decent result. Alright, well, after that disastrous crash at the beginning, still managed to make it into P3. Before the final and best race, I did another one, which wasn't as exciting, but still had a few very good moments. So I'll keep this one brief. Alright. 
starting in P4, this race started fairly unassuming, just like the first race. Got off the line fairly well and didn't gain nor lose any positions. Coming into lap 6, I gained one position because the Brit in the Mazda in front pulled a me into the uphill turns and handed me his position. But from there on, nothing really happened until lap 11. I tried to go for an overcut on the top 2, which is why I'm first here, but failed miserably and even lost the place to yet another fellow Dutchman. Wait, that guy- oh my god. On lap 14, I got very close to overtaking him again, but unfortunately, the Brit behind me did his best Danny Kvyat impression and completely torpedoed me. Eh, what the fuck was that? No! Come on, I would have overtaken him into that corner. What were you doing there, bro? Can you tell I'm upset? Even so, after that setback, I put my head down and after a little over one lap, I tried again. Oof. I still didn't succeed. But one lap later, he made a mistake and very kindly moved over so I wouldn't crash into him, which put me back in third place. And this would eventually be the place I'd finish the race in. Got from fourth on the grid to third at the finish line. That's another decent result. Now that I was very close to beat here, it was time for one final race. And this is definitely the best one yet, so buckle up. Starting in P3, most of the chaos and good moments came at the start of this race, unlike the previous two races. As you can see here, we're very close to the top two going uphill, but once we got on top, absolute carnage commenced. Yeah, I saw that happening a mile away. But now we're... Ah, oh, come on. No! What?! No! The Turkish driver in the Ferrari breaking way too late, launching the Brit in first place to Jupiter and pretty much stopping on track. I had absolutely nowhere to go, lost a shit ton of time and positions and gained an unnecessary penalty on top of all that. I was pretty mad. So mad I even voice cracked. Why did I get a penalty for that? What did I do? Yeah, of course I collided with him. He suddenly stopped driving at speed. Ah. Oh. What an amazing start, but it was only the first lap, so more than enough time to fight back. Drop back the sixth thing in after serving the penalty, but from here it was head down and see what damage limitation I could do. Okay, so... Back down to six. So stayed right behind fourth and fifth here on the straight. Gonna be a nice comeback race again. Eventually, I'm breaking both of them, which meant I was already back up to fourth. Yeah, you can't just turn into me, that's not how it works. Okay, clear two guys, let's see if we can close the gap to the top three. As we go into lap four, I make a wish. Hope they start battling it out, making it a bit more difficult for themselves. Oh! And that's exactly what happened. <laughs> so my wish came true, and now being in second position, it was time to chase the leader. Once it was time for pit stops, I lost one position, but gained it back the following lap, and the chase continued. I felt like I wasn't gaining enough, because by the time lap 17 came around, the gap was still over 4 seconds. I honestly thought I wouldn't make it anymore. But then the unthinkable happened. Oh, he actually spun. Or, well, spun. He lost a lot of time there. Come on, baby. And he's got a penalty. Oh my god.
wide again, it's wide again, it's wide again. And again. Into first place. From here on out, I just had to not make any mistakes. And that was exactly what I did. We were still in first once the finish line came around, and I must say it felt quite good. Hence my reaction. Here. And as we get on to the final straight, we take a look at that finish line. And we're finishing in P1, baby! Let's go! Oh my god, man! Yes! Yes! If that doesn't get me back up into B tier, I don't know what will. Absolutely awesome stuff. Absolutely fantastic. If I'm just gonna go and check that. Yes! As you can see, we are back up into B tier. And with that, my journey to A tier has begun. So subscribe if you want to follow along, and I'll see you in the next one.